So the time has come to try and make a banner for ourselves, uh, to go ahead and get the favor of the king, and to go ahead and try to become a vassal for him, and have our own fief, maybe uh, some kind of land somewhere, something going on around here. So let's see uh, where the location of King Harless is. Uh, oops, I missed it actually. <laughs> let's see one more time. Uh, Kelrin Castle, and he should be close to there. Okay, cool, so let's go ahead head there. And I guess accompany him in the wars that are going on all around this world. Uh, because it's it's a it's quite a fighty place right now. And luckily he's close by. Uh, we are leaving the tournament. No big deal. Whatever. Uh, we, because we got to do some fighting around here. Oh my goodness, these bandits are everywhere. Uh, running all over the countryside. <laughs> causing havoc. Got to make sure we don't... Uh, luckily we're super fast though. Yeah, we're super fast. Oh, they're chasing down. Who are they chasing down? Oh, it's just like their pirate banner. Oh, that's so cool. And, and they're looting caravans. We gotta do something about this one day when we uh, start taking over this land for ourselves. But first we need a banner. First we need to get on the king's good side. And he's supposed to be at this place over here. So let's keep on running there. And uh, and I guess uh, girlfriend will have to wait for a while. Uh, because, I, well I guess she'll get back to us in like seven days or something if she wants to see us. And, uh, and if we want to see her. And oh my goodness there's enemies like running all over the landscape here. Um, hang on, let's pause this for a second. Yeah, the Nords are after us. Um... Where is the king? <laughs> so I made it to Kelderin Castle, uh, home of the marshal. But look at this, I found the king here. King Harless is just hanging out here as there's like war, war parties running all around, huge tracks. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and talk to him. <laughs> okay, good to see you again, Budkai. Uh, oh, okay, so our relations deteriorated because, yeah, we, we attacked the travelers to start that war. Um, yeah, for girlfriend, right, right, right. Yeah, okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Won't happen again. Um, let me look through some of these options here, see if we can get anything good going. Wow, and it was as easy as just saying, I, I'm going to pledge my sword to you. That was the option I picked. I'm going to pledge my sword to you, King Harless. Uh, relations only eight. I guess our renown is high enough. So he said, you are known as a brave man in arms and a fine leader of men, Budkai. I shall be pleased to accept your sword into my service and bestow vassalage upon you if you are ready to swear homage to me. Sure, for now I will. <laughs> uh, because he should, he should be aware, my honor is negative seven. So, all right, anyway. Um, yes, I am ready, my lord. Give me, uh, give me tons of money. Let's do this thing. Uh, <laughs> so good. Uh, then repeat the words of the oath with me. Oh my gosh. I swear homage to you as lawful ruler of the kingdom of Swadia. I will remain as your loyal and devoted man as long as my breath remains. And I will be at your side to fight your enemies. Should you need my sword? Oh, heck, I'll do that anyway. I, I like this place. Okay. Boom. Uh, finally, I will uphold your loveful claims and those of your legitimate hairs. Sure, I will. I will. Just give me my flag. Come on, let's do this. Very well. You have given me your solemn oath, Budkai. May you uphold it always with proper courage and devotion. Yeah, I, I need to work on that. Okay. Let it be known that from this day forward, you are my sworn man uh, and vessel. I give you my protection and grant you the right to bear arms in my name. And I pledge that I shall not deprive you of your life, liberty, or prosperities, except by lawful judgment of your peers, by the law, the custom of the land. Furthermore, I give you the fief of, uh, oh, fief of Chide, uh, with all its rents and revenues. Whoa, I hope they like me. Wait, isn't that place looted? Oh, crap. Okay. You have done a wise thing, boy. Okay, serve me well. And I will promise that you will rise high. Cool. All right. So I'm so psyched. Um, whoa. Everyone hates me now even more than before but cool all right so now what i have great hopes for you budkai i know that you shall prove yourself worthy i trust you have placed in you okay there we go wow so where's my flag though don't i get like a banner since i'm somewhat nobility let me uh let me check some options out and as i was checking out some options i noticed this girl popped up right here and i'm like i was talking to her right and she's like she knows me she's the uh, daughter of granwad uh the marshal of the land and she uh, kind of likes me, so I'm going to go ahead and say, um, I profess myself most ardent admirer. <laughs> uh, oh, wow, my, the hour is getting rather late, isn't it? I really must be going. Ah, oh, she doesn't like me. <laughs> okay, let's beg my leave. All right, so much for that. See you later. Uh, yeah, I, I like the other girl anyway better. The uh, Yeah, okay, so uh, let's get on to... Uh, Let's let's go to Chide and see like what what it's like. So we are in a bit of a situation here. Uh, but Kai has Chide, a little village, no allies, no enemies, whatever. And uh, take a look at this, the most scariest thing of all. We've lost our mercenary pay. Um, so we're not going to be able to like uh, like like maintain our army right now. At least all these super elite, expensive mercenaries. Uh, we're gonna have to like, probably like get rid of some of them. And uh, and Chide is on fire over here. It's pretty much on fire, burning up. 
Um, this is bad. This whole situation is really bad. King Harless is just like, ha 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 ha, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Um, can we even go here? Oh my gosh, we can't even go in here. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. And no money, no pay. Uh, we gotta make some money real quick. But before we go about trying to figure out what to do with this new situation, the game is really changed for us now. Uh, let's go ahead and get a banner. And I found out how to do that. All you gotta do is camp and then go to take an action. And uh, let's see, another book to read. Uh, yes, let's modify our noble banner since we don't even have one. There we go. All right, so I've been awarded the right to carry a banner because now we are a lord. We have one little uh, like town, so now we're supposed to be a lord. We get plus 10 troop capacity, and, uh, and also we get to choose a banner now, now since we're nobility. So this is really awesome. We get to carry this wherever we go, and our troops will uh, wear this, this banner at all the times. Uh, so which banner do we want to choose? Let's take a look at these pages. How many pages are there? Um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of pages. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, give me some time with this. Um... Okay, yeah, just give me some time. I'll try to pick one and out. And I'm pretty much going to go with the page I stopped on. Is this flag right over here? It's very similar to the Polish flag. Uh, it's got the red and the white. And kind of like the gold kind of eagle with the crown. So, boom, there we go. Uh, that's our banner. I like it. And, okay, so let's go uh, back to the main menu. Resume traveling. Yes, there we go. Uh, Bud Kai, Lord of Ashtown. Yes, ashes remain. No taxes to be gained. And, alright, so now, what in the blazes? I think right off the bat, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of our, uh, mercenary horsemen, because they're, like, super expensive. These swordsmen, I, I can afford this kind of stuff, uh, but these guys are way too expensive. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and start disbanding these guys, so we don't have to pay them. Uh, see you later, and I guess we'll start looking for peasants, and, and just, like, cheap Swadian troops to go ahead and recruit in, uh, in towns that we, uh, pass by. So, Chide is still on fire, and we're helping to defend the landscape here, our homeland. Uh, moving around, getting chased by some Nords here, but uh, but we're we're supremely fast, uh, and I'm just trying to get them to like a town or a place where we can go ahead and uh, gang up on them and make the odds at our tilt the odds in our favor. Not sure how to do it though. Maybe I can get them close enough to Suno. Oh, looks like we have a patrol right here coming on in. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead. Oh, there we go. Let's try to surround these guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a second. Wait a second. All right, they're running. Let's do it. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Moving to help the, uh, yeah, yeah, help our party. Sweet. So what do we have here? Helping the Sino party against, uh, the party. We have 118 troops fit for battle against the enemy's 58. Perfect. Yes, let's go ahead and take out these Nords. Hopefully we'll get some decent spoils here. All right, so I'm telling everybody to follow me and to go ahead, I guess, stay on this hill right here. This looks like a pretty, oh, I see. The enemy is kind of flanking around a bit. But as long as we have the hill advantage, I'll tell everyone to wait right about here. Seems like a decent spot. And, uh, let's see, where's my infantry at? Let's get to, uh, infantry, tell them to follow me, and I want to put them into a shield wall. Shield wall for now. Uh-oh, actually, this looks like just a bunch of Nords and some mercenary horsemen. Okay, so we might just go ahead, tell everyone just to wait here, and, alright, so everybody hear me. I guess everybody charge right about now. This seems like a good time to charge. Alright, do it up, do it up. Why not? <laughs> that, that seems pretty simple. Uh, okay, oh my gosh, look at this shield shield wall here. There we go, we got we got someone out there. Um, oh boy, alright, so we have my men, we have their men going around the place. Uh, oh boy, this is quite quite a mix. This guy's not paying any attention here. Let's see if we can take some... Oh, they got a decent amount of guys here. Oh, here we go. Now we can start doing some knife work around here. Yeah. Boom, get that archer out. Cool, alright, so hopefully if we win this, we'll get some decent loot. Like I was saying, we're we're pretty low for money. Hey, oh crap, they're hitting me. <laughs> Darn it. Wow, these Nords are really tough. These these They're not a bunch of pushovers. And they're slashing, shooting me. There's a guy right here. There we go, we got another. Alright, we got some archers shooting here, probably from the town or from the uh, the company that was uh, assisting us, or that we reinforced. I see, I see a guy's back right here. Darn it. <laughs> there we go, at least he died. Don't even know how many men we're looking at, or, uh, losing right now. Let's see, um... There's a few enemies over here, there's some over there, but it seems like they're kind of taken out. It's right this way. See if we can take out these people fleeing. They may be the ones, like, maybe, uh, like a captain or something. Or, uh, or a general. Oh, here we go, it's just a bunch of spearmen. Got one of them. Anyone else around here? Looks like this guy may have it. Yeah, he has it. And there's another guy. Oh, right over here! <laughs> I was just looking at the mini-map. Alright, looks like we got it. Amazing. Hopefully we didn't lose too many guys. 
Uh, let's go ahead and end it. Let's see what the results are. Gained four right now, and that's, that's pretty good. So what do we lose? What do we lose? It's right up here. Oh, sweet. We only lost uh, two men. That's amazing. So it looks like the, our allies lost a little more. And our relation increased from 18 to 22, I guess because we came to their aid. I guess that's the way it happened to work out. Um, super awesome. Super awesome. Okay, good. So Swadia loves us even more. Uh, okay, do we get any... Uh, oh, we just have a few, just a few slaves here and there. Oh, no big deal. I guess it's going to fetch some money. But we did lose a few troops, lost a few horsemen. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Well, hopefully, um, anything good in here? Not really. Oh. Well, we really just got to play this game by ear and uh, just just kind of uh, take whatever opportunities come our way. So, like these guys right here, they're uh, they're running away from us. Let's go ahead and uh, and attack them and uh, and see if we can gain some more glory uh, since they are an easy uh, easy target. Maybe we can capture them. We'll see. Okay, so uh, let's say surrender or die. Whatever, relations go down, and, uh, oh my goodness, we have 456, oh, I guess King Harless's party was right near us, and they joined into the fight, alright, well, so much for glory, okay, so let's, let's mop these guys up, let's just charge them with everything we have, the heck with it, um, eventually, I do want to have, like, an all-cavalry force, I've decided, I want to try to get, because, uh, since Swadian troops, uh, are really good at, uh, at being the horsemen, uh, we're gonna have tons of horsemen, and we'll be a super fast unit, I guess. I guess that's gonna be the idea for now. This is pretty fun. Alright, so we're all charging in. Uh, and these guys are all on foot. Let's go ahead and take a nice little swing here at these unsuspecting fellows. <laughs> oh, look at this guy right here. Um, see if we can hit the butt of the horse. Can we do that? <laughs> there we go. I uh, really just want to get this guy, though. I feel like he's he's like the leader or the commander. Come on, let's get moving in here. I want to hit this guy. Let's get him. There we go. We knocked him off. I'm gonna get off my horse. I want to get in this action here. I feel like he's a big deal. So let's try to get this guy. There we go. He's down. We got him for the count. Now, where, where the heck is the... Uh... Oh, that's a good guy. <laughs> Where's the enemy at? Uh, there's a bunch of enemies right over here. Slash, slash. Take that, you Nords. You bad guys looting and uh, pillaging our lands. Get the heck out of our lands. Leave uh, leave Chide alone. I don't want to be like Ash Kingdom or something like that. Okay, so... Uh... Oh, yeah, there's like one more guy left over there. I think we got this though. Let me put my sword away. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a little jog. But uh, yeah, I think we have it. And I think that guy I killed or knocked out or whatever, I think he's uh, of, of noble nobility for the Nords. And we pretty much lost nobody in that fight. We completely surrounded him, smashed him from all sides. Um, oh, he managed to escape that guy. He really did escape. Okay, well, whatever. Um, sea Raider. Oh, he's kind of expensive. <laughs> now I'm like so cheap. I really like this militia though. I want to get these guys to uh, pages and then get them to the uh, to the uh, cavalry four level after this uh, page upgrade. But that's that's uh, slow coming. We'll get them trained up with our uh, with our trainers. But okay, so that's, we're done here. Um, and anything here? Oh, we got some gloves. Our gloves are better. So okay, uh, we're done. So there here. seems to be a raid going on here at Nomar. Uh, let me, uh, before I get closer, let's take a look at the whole map view here of what's going on. Seems like everything uh, is holding together well, even though we have war on three sides of us. Uh, not really too much smoldering or being really, really uh, pillaged. It's more or less like like on the inside. It's like, it's like everything here being raided. Yeah, so we just have enemies running in our territory messing stuff up, which is uh, what we're going around and cleaning up. I think we have enough money to outlast, uh, you know, like, like not really, I don't think we really, really need the quest. The thing is, as long as we keep fighting, oh my gosh, yeah, can't do that, can't do that. Um, darn it. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead, run away from these guys, and I guess wait for a better, oh, there we go, we can join in this fight, let's go, 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 hopefully it's not too late. Oh my smokes, there's so many, oh boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's let's help. Uh, obviously, rush the aid of our friend. Yeah. Oh, I know this guy, Delinard. Yeah. So we have 101 troops fit against the enemy's 88. Okay, let's do this thing for Swadia. So this is really darn significant. I mean, like if we didn't go around uh, helping out these lords that were getting under attack, they would all be captured and just like just like totally taken over by uh, these these larger enemy forces. So it's good that we're here to to assist uh, the lords that we just happened to chance upon. I think it makes a really big deal in this game. Uh, alright, so, oh my goodness, let's see if we can go around and flank these guys, huh? How about that? I'm taking my force, I see it's green on the map, that's what I'm guessing, my force is green. Take us around this way, tell us to wait here, right? There we go, man, wait on this side. And then, looks like the AI, or, uh, or Delnard's forces, they're going on over there. 
doing their own thing. These guys are standing here. My guys are still moving up into position. Fantastic. Ar arrows are flying by. And I guess I'm going to tell everybody to charge. What's going on over here? Yeah, it looks like they're charging. Okay, all of us charge as well. Let's do this thing. <laughs> all right. Oh, this is great. They're not going to see it coming. Hoo-ya! Take that. Oh, that was good. That was good stuff. Okay, let's just take out these guys around here. Boom, see you later. This guy over here with the crossbow. Oh, I don't like these crossbows one whatsoever. Yeah, let's, let's get this guy. Get this guy out. And then uh, let's move on over here. Oh, the sun's in my eyes, actually. That kind of makes it harder to see. <laughs> wow, these crossbow guys are no joke. Must shoot them very hardly. Yes, there we go. Get them. Get these pike men here. How's my horse doing? Horse is doing all right. Kind of. Get this horse in the butt. All right, here we go. Uh, this guy here. Wow. Almost want to get off my horse, actually. All right, let's 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 get let's dismount. Let's fight these guys. Straight up. Straight up fight these guys. Oh, that might have been a bad idea, getting off the horse. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, crap. Get this guy. Get this guy. Oh, come on. Do it. Yeah, there we go. Head slash. Head slash. Stab him. Oh, my goodness. That was close call. Oh, look at this guy. Gotcha. Sucker. Any more? There's so much text on my screen. I can barely see the, the combat. Um... Wow, there's so much fun. Look at that guy with the crossbow shooting it at me. I'm going to get on this thing here. See if I can go ahead and uh, slash this guy. Get this guy. Come on, let's get him. Oh my gosh, this is a crazy, crazy battle. We can't die here. We must help the troops out. Uh, where is the enemy? Here's an enemy. My goodness gracious, there's enemies everywhere. Sorry, man. Let me get out of your way. Get this guy. These guys are like the biggest threat right here. Okay. <laughs> Uh, stab him, slash him, get him here. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if we're going to win this thing. Oh gosh, this is pretty darn close. Oh darn, I got knocked off my horse. Yeah, oh my gosh. So I have the default settings set to uh, everyone charge if I get knocked out. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is a bloody fight. This is a real bloody fight. I probably shouldn't have gotten off my horse uh, at all, ever. Probably got to make sure not to do that again. I need a better horse, actually. More armor. What that uh, would work. Uh, all my mercenaries are getting in here. It looks like we won the battle. How many men did I lose, though? Oh, boy. Let's take a look. Um, 18 killed. Wow. Lost 18. That's big. It looks like this guy is very happy, though. Baron Delinard. You've turned up just in time, bud I will not forget their help. There's no greater fortune than the chance to show one's valor on the field of arms. Hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully my honor is going up, too. Oh, okay, so 12 items, that stings, only 12 items, but these look like pretty good items, though. So this should, oh, oh, this is really nice. 45, oh, it's close to what I have right here. Does it, does it look cooler? No, it doesn't. Okay, so I'm gonna let, um, uh, gonna let some of my best guys here, I'm gonna let them loot this stuff and, uh, gear up. And it's time to get the heck out of here. Are we still fast? Good, we're still fast, but most of our hero heroes are wounded, including me. We're all wounded. Oh, looks like I leveled up. Heck yeah. Let me go ahead and level that up real quick. Um, yeah, I want to get much more agility, much more combat speed movement, so I can kind of outrun uh, these guys when I get surrounded. Uh, let's put a point into... Um, hmm, riding? I don't know. Not really. Well, maybe, because I do want a better horse. I did mention that. Shield, not really. Weapons Master, possibly. Uh, let's just go for... Because power draw, I, I learned with uh, with bows and arrows, the more encumbered you are, the less accurate it is. That was really what was uh, setting that off. So if I, if I want to be good with archery, I'm going to need to uh, just kind of strip off all this heavy armor. So I'm just going to go with Weapon Master now. I feel like that's a safe choice. Go with that. Uh, more points in the two-handed weapons. And uh, I guess summon archery in case I decide to change. But all right, we'll go with that. Bada boom. And uh, must recruit more peasants because now we are very low in number. Uh, dangerously low. <laughs> These bandits are getting stronger and stronger. Oh my goodness. Uh, all right. So, just looking for uh, looking for chances of opportunity. We'll gladly hire those guys. Need to find a way to make more money. Because, uh, well, I guess we could sell some stuff too. And won't you believe it, in this time of war, the new Marshal, uh, Riss, wants to go ahead and throw a party for all of us. Uh, okay, I, I'm not sure if that's a really good thing to do for uh, as a marshal in, in terms of uh, like, you know, like we're all being attacked on all sides, but okay, so I will be there at Cal. Uh, he invites me to be part of his, his, his uh, exalted assembly. Sure, why not? Let me just recruit a few more troops before we go. Uh, maybe we'll meet up with uh, with girlfriend there, or maybe we'll, we'll uh, you know, meet some, uh, some other girl. All right, let's hire some more peasants. There we go. So we got tons of peasants. 
I find that uh, that these peasants right here, uh, they'll probably level up from our training, from our troop training. Uh, militia is pretty darn good. Uh, if you take a look at their stats, uh, their stats are pretty decent. Their equipment's pretty decent. They have something for anti-cavalry, and uh, they got like a sword and a shield and decent weapons armor. So I think uh, once we get these peasants up to militia standards before the next fight, uh, I think we'll be really good to go. So all right, let's go party. Let's find this castle, and uh, yeah, there it is. Let's go there, and I guess hire more peasants along the way. And there's a whole lot of things burning right now. A lot of villages around here burning all about, and I don't know why we're throwing such a party like this. This is this is pretty crazy, and <laughs> look at the party. It's under siege by pretty much all of the Rodox forces. Um, what the heck was this man thinking? I don't know. Let me see if I can sneak on over, although I'm not super fast anymore. Can I grab their attention? Uh, under siege, is there any way we can help defend this thing? I don't know. It really doesn't seem to be looking too good right now. Our kingdom is falling apart. That riblet over there is being raided. Uh, yeah, uh, the Nords just took over Nudar Castle. So uh, I'm trying to go over here, see what's uh, what's what's what the heck is fighting around here. Who's this guy here? Uh, Baron. Uh, okay, well he's not very strong. A lot a lot of our forces are very weak right now. Looks like we have some Nords over here causing some ruckus. We have no chance against them. Uh, I'm gonna run to the king and uh, and see if he has something to say about this. Oh my goodness, and I'm losing money. Great, <laughs> since I'm not getting my mercenary pay anymore. Oh my goodness gracious, what the heck is going on? Um, okay. Uh, what, what's, what's going? Oh, oh, oh wait, oh, that's right, that's right. This is something about a date or something. Well, this isn't really no time for dating. The whole country is falling apart, woman. Um, all right, so I'll see you guys next time. Uh, we may go on a date, or uh, we, may, we may also try to save the country. I'll see you guys later.